My name is Ichiro Naramiya. I'm an ordinary office worker. I've gotten used to working in the real world. I even have junior colleagues to take care of now. I'm gonna tell you about one of my kawaii's. Naramiya-san, would you like some tea? Oh, thank you, Ochai-san. <gasps> oh. Holy crap, that's hot! Uh, Naramiya-san, are you okay? Yeah, this is the girl I want to tell you about. Hanata Ochai. She's the clumsiest person I've ever met. She always gets lost from running errands. What? Another dead end? She can't seem to handle making copies either. Oh no! Well, who never a dull day to try, saw here. Yeah, but it's been three months since she joined our team. I'm starting to get worried about having her here. Relax! You're doing a great job picking up the pieces after her mistakes. Just let her be. I love watching her trip it all over the place. Uh, you could help me. Um, er, uh, not a mia, son. I'm sorry for making you put up with me every day. It's okay, don't sweat it. Uh, Ochi san did you hurt your finger again? Huh? Oh, y yes, I did. I'm sorry. I know it's not a nice thing to see. Nah, no, you're good. I can't think of anything at the office that could cause a finger injuries. Anyway, so that's what my life at the office is like. I make sure I get checkups on my teeth every few months. Things are too hectic on weekdays. So I usually visit the dentist on Saturdays. One day I met. Huh? Ochi san What? Not Amiya san Ochi san the last person I expected to bump into. Are you here for a checkup? No, I'm... Hey, Chan, I'm done. Huh? Hey, good job in there. It wasn't scary, was it? We're here for her treatment. Well, I'll see you at the office. Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, what the heck? I had no idea Chai son was married, but she doesn't have a ring on her finger. Wait a minute, that girl looks about five. How is that possible? Seeing her with a young child sparked my curiosity. I decided to ask her about it when I saw her at work. Hey, uh, ochi san about that little girl I saw of you on Saturday. Huh? Little girl? Oh, yes, what about her? Well, I was surprised. I didn't know you had a daughter. What? ochi san has a daughter? Well, how am I last one to know? Oh, oh, you've got it all wrong. No way. Ichiro, you have a kid with ochi san How is it even possible? Dude, relax, okay? Adamiya san will you be okay with eating dinner with me tonight? Huh? Please don't ask. Just say yes. What? Hey, I get that you're happy, but you don't have to shove it in me face. Now you got me all jealous. Yeah, I didn't have time to explain anything to him. Ochai son grabbed my hand and rushed out of the office. Thank you for coming. I just felt like I needed to go drinking tonight. I thought it would be nice if you could come. Uh, yeah, it's okay. The girl, she's my little brother's daughter. Her name is Kasumi. Oh, your little brother's. Wait, your little brother's daughter? She looks pretty big. She's four, not a baby anymore. So that means your brother was married at an early age? That's correct. He got married soon after he graduated from university. So he was only 21 or 22? That's crazy! Yes, it was too soon. That's why everything. Huh? Well, the thing is, his wife ran out on him. Wow, that must have been hard. I mean, I'm sure plenty of couples who were red young work things out fine. But that wasn't the case for my little brother. Their marriage was a result of them getting carried away. They both struggled, and it didn't end well. That's why he brought Kasumi to my place. I see. Ochai san told me how her mother had also left her and her brother behind. The father raised them on his own. Her little brother's job requires frequent business trips, and that's why she takes care of Kasumi chan on the weekends. She works all week and then takes care of her niece on her days off. I'd be stressed out if I was her. But I don't think I'm doing enough. Huh? It's been three months since we started living together. But I still can't take care of her like I hoped I would. I feel awful about her cavities. It's because I didn't do enough. I'm sure you're doing a great job. You're overthinking things. Three months ago, that's right about when you joined our team at the office. You work every day. And you raise a child on your days off, but I've never heard you complain. I admire that. I truly do. Oh. Oh, dear. I think the alcohol is getting to me. Are you okay? I think so. But I didn't have a mother, so... I know. Kasumi needs some other figure so she can trust and rely on. Mm. So I hope I could be there for her. I practice cooking and sewing... So I could sew her favorite characters on her things. Let me guess, your injuries came from sewing and cooking. Yes. I wish I found this out sooner. I knew those cuts weren't from anything work-related. Hey, I want you to let me know if there's anything I can do to help. Huh? I don't come from a single-parent family, but both of my parents worked full-time. So I kind of understand how it feels to be lonely. I agree with you. 
A child definitely needs a strong support system. I'd love to help you out. Well, there is one thing I can think of now. Huh? Oh, okay. Kasumi has been asking me to clean her ears these days, but I've never cleaned anybody's ears before. Do you think I could practice on you, Narumiya-san? Huh? Why? Why did I put myself in this situation? We had left the Izakaya, ended up in an internet cafe booth. I tried to held an ear pig she bought at a convenience store. Let's take a moment to mention her soft thighs. And she smells so nice. Stop! You're only laying on her thighs because she wants to practice. But, but I've never experienced such heaven. Um, okay. This is my first time. I'll try to be gentle. Uh, sure. Wait, you're not gonna sue me later on, right? I would never do that. I hope you don't sue me. I'm scared I might hurt your ears. My heart is pounding. I'm praying to God to let her notice. Soon after, I felt something enter my left ear. I couldn't decide if it was painful or satisfying. But I have to admit, I liked it. Uh, how does it feel? I'm not hurting you, am I? No, I don't think you are. You know, I could get used to this. It feels nice and relaxing. Really? Oh, I'm glad you like it. Uh, I think my mom cleaned my ears when I was a kid, but that was ages ago. Oh, even though she was busy with work? Yeah, I didn't get to spend much time with her. But she would always make sure my nails were clipped and stuff. I see. Laying here like this? It kind of reminds me of my mom. Just to make things clear, I'm not a mommy's boy or anything. <laughs> I didn't say you were. Please stop wingling around. I don't want to hurt you. Huh? Oh, my bad. You're still moving. Stay still. Uh. I appreciate this, Narumiya-san. Huh? You're always there for me at work. And now you're here doing this for me. Uh, well, it's part of my job to take care of you at work. I get paid for it. And I understand how you're feeling right now. Hmm. You have a lot on your plate. I'm here for you. Just make sure Kazumi-chan gets the life that she deserves. Naramiya-san, I have a feeling you will make a great father. What, did you say something? Uh, no, I didn't say anything. Ah, I'm gonna go deaf if you continue like that. Oh no, I'm so sorry. There were a few scary moments, but overall, Ochi-san did a great job cleaning my ears. I woke up and realized I'd fallen asleep. Huh, was I asleep? Yes, you were out completely. Oh, I see, sorry. It's okay, you must be tired. I'm grateful for you helping me out. Do you think you can clean Kazumi-chan's ears now? Yes. Great! I'm glad you're more confident now. Um, Narumiya-san. Yeah? Uh, it's nothing. Thank you for your help. Anytime! Let me know if you think of anything else. Uh, okay. So, aren't you going home? I am! But I figured I could get a cup of coffee before I, you know, to enjoy being in the internet cafe. I see. Okay, well, I'm off then. Oh my gosh! Oh, that was embarrassing! I mean, I can't believe that happened! Mm. Um, Narumiya-san, you have to stay still! Mm. Huh? Oh, wait, Narumiya-san! Gosh, I'm not letting you get away next time! Jeez, you can't squeeze a girl's body like that! Gosh! Still, I can't say I didn't like it. He was adorable laying on me and sleeping like a baby. Is this what people call maternal instincts? I want to get to know him better. Oh, I know. Mm, why do I smell like perfume all over? That's strange. Huh, oh well. The next day, Ochi san spent the day peeking at me frequently. What the? Ochi san Why is she looking at me like that? Um, Narumiya san Yes? Thank you for your help last night. My ear cleaning skills impressed Kasumi. She said it was the best session she's ever had. Really? I'm glad to hear that. And, um, there's one more thing I could use help on. Oh, what is it? Well, Kasumi asked me to make an obento for her, but I've never made an obento. Will it be okay for me to make an obento for you someday? Unless, uh, you have a girlfriend that would get upset. Huh, really? Are you sure? Uh, I don't have a girlfriend. That's great! How about this weekend? I could bring it over to your place, or we could have a picnic. A picnic? Does that mean we're going on a date? Would you prefer not to? Of course I would, that's a great idea! Wait, I'm excited. Do I have feelings for her? <laughs> I lied. Kasumi never asked me to make an obento before. But he said he'd help me with anything. So he could help me practice becoming his wife. Hey, is something wrong, Ochai-san? Nope, everything is absolutely perfect. A few years later, Ochai-san accepted my proposal. We got married. I had no idea a plan to get married to me started this early. 
Imagine how shocked I was when I found out. What did you think of today's episode? Please come back tomorrow for more. Thanks for watching. Bye.